just dressings change every day. You take them off before you shower. Shower, pat dry. You can take a blow dryer on a cool setting and air dry. Okay. Put it about that much bath tracing. You want to keep these moist. And then the band-aid, which he's gonna do. Change them once a day is all you need. Once a day dressing changes, shower every day. We're gonna take these off before or after you shower. Before I shower. Thank you. Because if you don't, they get wet sometimes with pull. So say one day down the road, two weeks from now, you take the bandage off and it's super pink underneath. It looks like a scab on the band-aid. It's not your nipple. It means it's healed. But three weeks, this will come off, trim it as it lifts. Four weeks of nipple care, then the bandage is gonna go away. Okay. They will cause bruising, um, or excuse me, blistering sometimes because it is a sticky bandage. Switch the directions that we put it on. Okay, those are the best ones because they're sealed all the way around. You don't want to do gauze and tape because it shifts. Got it? Good with this? This is swelling. This is swelling. So when you lay it down, is? yeah, see how swollen you are? I thought my chest looked like that before <laughs> I went to surgery. Well, I'm going to make you pretend you know that that's what it looks like, but this is swelling. So, um, if you want, wear the binder for another week. It will help bring that fluid down massage when you're laying down this area it'll break up the fluid that your body can't absorb got it okay you may be numb because we cut around there no no at all i feel all of that just Good. giving me like tingling goosebump yeah tingling it's because i'm in here <laughs> all right oh <I'm> dead <laughs> okay honey see that amount yeah put it on the band-aid don't slather it on there makes Move sense it on the bandage can go on this, just no sticky stuff on the nipple. All right, these are pretty sticky, okay? The reason we tell you do it when you're dry, of course they won't stick if you're soaking wet. All right. Ooh. I think I went and bought the wrong band-aids, y'all. What? So I went and bought the wrong band-aids. Would you get small ones? Well, they're not small, they just, they're not as, Easy. There's like they're like they come in a little bit. Like you see how that's just like straight. Uh -huh. There they come oh, in they at an like angle. This. We don't care. Yeah, they come as at long an as angle. you're not getting any sticky on the nipple and the nipple's covered, you can use whatever you want. Okay. But if you wake up tomorrow and you've had it on all night and you notice a blister, kind of like if you rode your bike too much as a kid, you know we got blisters. It's from the stickiness. Just switch it to a different position. Okay, but so super, super important for three weeks. I want to repeat everything that you said, so I'll make sure mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. So when I take a shower, take the dressings off, turn my back around, and let it roll like that. The shower head got to hit my back, yeah. and it rolls over my chest. Mm -hmm. No scrubbing, just let the soap roll over it. Pat dry, and then get a well blow dryer and actually get it dry. In cool setting. So yeah, don't do hot. Cool yeah. setting. <laughs> I'll be um, frying your nipples already. They're going to be pepperoni, so. Um, no, perfect. And you said the ointment, just as much as I saw, well, pretty much just as big like as my nipple. Yeah, or the big as your nipple. Mm -hmm. And then put it on the Band-Aid. Now, my nipple, place it on there and make sure I'm dry before I even touch the Band-Aid. Uh, and then you said about the dressings, well, they'll, they'll come off on their own, just mm -hmm. start to trim as they come off. Mm -hmm. So at three weeks, if these aren't gone, Take them off in the shower. Okay. That's all these sutures underneath are dissolvable. So we won't remove anything else. It's just going to take sometimes three to four months before they go away. And then at four weeks, you'll start scar care, which means massage the heck out of these nipples. Sunscreen. You're already dark skin. So if you fry your nipples or the scars, it turns the scar darker. Mm, Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Because you're prone to that type of right. um, problem. So. Make sure, even with a t-shirt on, put SPF 50 on your nipples <laughs> and your um, scar lines. And okay. you can wear your t-shirt and go without. We recommend that for a year. Protect those nipples. So you said wear a t-shirt all the time for a year? No, you can go outside. Just don't be out and frying your nipples. No, oh, okay. Just make sure I put sunscreen on. Yes, please. And reapply it, especially if you're going to be like at the pool or something. You can't submerge in water for... Yeah. Um, six to eight weeks on your nipples. Six to eight weeks, no submerging. At three weeks, this should be coming off. It's not pull it off from the thing. At four weeks, start the skincare. Yeah, 
Yep.